Hey everyone, today I wanna to have a chat about closet, specifically guilt associated with clothes and decluttering and all that stuff. I live in New York, so I have four seasons here. You could count it as three sometimes, but it is something that is always on my mind every single year, and that is the fact that I stress out about my clothes. Over the past year, I've transformed my spending habits, so I do purchase way less clothes. Being more realistic as far as, will I really wear this? or or am I just really in love with it? So I do find myself walking around stores, picking things up, and then by the end of it, putting down about 75% of it, if I even pick anything up. So today I want to go through my closet. I have two closets actually. That is because this is my office slash filming room and then I have a walk-in closet that I share with my fiance and that is where the majority of my clothes are but this closet right back here actually stresses me out. My mentality with having this closet back here was putting things that I don't always wear and when I think about that reasoning it really makes no sense because I want all of my clothes that I really want to wear in one place so I can look at all of it and make outfits and have fun putting together my clothes rather than going through a bunch of closets and figuring out what I want to wear. So I really want to declutter a bunch of things in my wardrobe. I have a lot of negative feelings when it comes to getting rid of clothes because there is that I worked hard for it, I love this piece, I haven't worn it enough, but realistically if you're not wearing it you should just get rid of it. So I'll be showing you my wardrobe and what the situation is right behind me in that closet and then later we'll get into the main closet but my fiance's sleeping so I have to wait for him to wake up. So here we have some clothes. As you can see I have a bunch of dresses back here. Some dresses really love but a lot of them not really. So there's this thing that I do, and I think a lot of people do it too, is buying clothes specifically for vacation, which I'm going to stop doing because I'm then left with clothes that I won't wear if I'm at home, like on a regular summer day, and it makes me feel some type of way about these clothes that I'm bringing in because I only feel right wearing them at a certain place which to my heart, to my mind, it feels really wasteful and not really something that I wanna do anymore. So my strategy for getting rid of summer clothes is I'm going to declutter it, I'm going to keep it, some things that I wanna try and sell if they're nice things, and then some things I will just donate when that time of year comes around because it's winter right now. No one will be buying summer clothes. So that's going to be my strategy. So I've decluttered a lot of things. These are all the hangers. In this bin, I have some things that I wanna try and sell, just things that I haven't worn, I don't think look good on me. I have dresses that I do not wear anymore. Leg warmers, American apparel things that I will never wear, that need to be sold. This right here is my clothing rack, and this clothing rack is out here to inspire me, but lately it's just been a mess, basically. So you can see that I have a bunch of hangers right here that can be filled, but I just don't fill them. Um, I want pieces that I love and I wear a lot to be out here, so right now I do have mostly fall clothes, but it's turning into winter very fast. So I do have to get rid of a bunch of things like this dress. I'm not going to wear this dress anytime soon because it's really cold outside. I also have a bunch of skirts, which in my mind, I like to wear skirts all year round, but when it comes down to it, I really only go out and do fun things four times a month and that is with Michael. So I really don't think I'll be wearing that many skirts over the next couple of months simply because it's just so cold. So I do wanna get rid of a bunch of skirts. And also when I get dressed for the winter, I like to think about sleeves. So certain tops, even though they're long sleeves, if they're not tight fitted to the body or at least have something tight around the wrists, Chances are I'm not going to wear it because when I put on a coat, it's just not gonna work out. It's just gonna get stuck. I already do have some 
sweaters hanging, like some sweatshirts. And this is how I hang my sweaters so they don't get damaged. I basically put the armpit on top and then fold over the sleeve and the bottom. And I do like to organize things by color on here, but we'll see, I might change it up simply because I want things to be practical. <laughs> Sorry, the lighting is terrible in here, but this is all I can do. So this is the inside of our closet. This half is Michael's and I have this entire dresser that you saw in the first clip. I have this organizer back here that does have a lot of stuff, stuff that I do not wear. Like these are all shorts that need to be put away. These are summery bottoms that need to be put away. So I'm really just not utilizing my space in the best way possible. This mess down here is actually summer clothes that I took off of that clothing rack outside. And I just need to put it away, go through it. And these are all of my workout clothes. So here I have sports bras. I really have too many, honestly. These are workout pants. And then these are workout capris and shorts. So this I'm not gonna mess with right now because this isn't what stresses me out. It's really the rest of all of this stuff. Even down here, secrets, clothes that are for summer. Now these dressers are basically gonna stay the same because I've gone through them many times. These are socks, this is underwear and bras. So these two I'm not going to touch. But inside of here I have sweatpants, things that I'm now using because it's colder. So I will be decluttering some of these things, just not sure yet. This is more workout clothes, which I really should declutter and go through, but I do use a lot of it when I go away to hotter climate and I don't wanna have to buy new workout clothes. I'm really happy with this collection. It's tiny, it's manageable but it is a little bit too much for the amount of working out that I do right now. So it makes me feel a little bit guilty, but it's fine. This is my pajama drawer, and this is where I usually have a bunch of t-shirts, all of my pajamas, and these are pajama shorts. This top drawer is dedicated to t-shirts and things that aren't dressy. I have some tank tops in here, and I have gone through this. I really should go through it again because there are things in here that are for summer. I do wanna put those things away, and just have things in here that I will actively wear. I was not kidding when I said I had a lot of t-shirts and most of it is like fandom tees. So things from Geek Gear, um, you know, Hufflepuff t-shirts. This is a Naruto one. This one I should really sell because I don't like the cut of it, but it's Adidas and it has Japanese, so I bought it. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all of the summer stuff that I'm not going to use. Just put it away so I can go through it later on. So now it's time to go through all of these pants and I do have a lot of pairs of pants. My issue with them is that a lot of them are a size too big since I stopped working out, I did lose some muscle. So I'm going to go through and get rid of all the ones that I do not like to wear. So I have five piles right here and the first pile is going to be a sell. I'm gonna try to sell those. This I'll be giving away to the Philippines, family and all that. This is a summer pile and these are shorts. This is my denim pile. And I have two pairs of blue denim as you can see. And then this is a green pair and a black pair. And the last pile is my jiking pile. So these are black ones that have distressing. These are olive and then these are from Fashion Nova. I don't wear them too often because I don't like how high the pockets are on the butt, but they are very stretchy and they're more of like that jegging. It can go underneath a tunic and it won't be bulky. So I decided to keep those. This is the same pair as the olive, but I have to wash them and I think I'm going to give these away. So the one thing that I have to do before I even start to organize my clothes is to fold all of my laundry, which is a full basket. So it's been weeks and I'm finally showing you guys my progress or the finished product with my closets. So behind me is 
the closet in my beauty office room and also known as my common room. So this side over here is where I have some clothes. Now I decided to keep this as my dressy closet. This makes things easier for me so if I know I'm going to get a little bit more dressed up I can just come into here like where I do my hair, my makeup, and this is where all of my dressy clothes are. So I have things from like long sleeves, this is the dress I wore for my engagement photos, skirts, I just decided to keep skirts in here because I'm not wearing them too often, I wish I was, but I don't do enough things. And then back here are dresses, like long summer dresses, I decided to just keep them out because my summer box was getting too full honestly. So that's what I did there. Moving right along to the bottom, this is where all of my summer clothes are in this tote. This is stuff I want to try and sell. And then this is actually empty. It's filled with all of the hangers that were holding my skirts. And I just threw it in there. That's the only place I can keep this luggage right now. And it's fine. This is my sewing machine. I have this fill stuff for if I want to fill something. This is also summer clothes. So this is filled and this is my bag of yarn. So everything has a purpose and I don't feel like I just have a bunch of stuff because I did get rid of a lot. And I will show you guys in the next closet. The finished garment rack. And this is filled with just clothes that I really like, this I plan on wearing this weekend, and basic pieces, just colors that make me happy. And I decided to hang all of my sweaters right here and I hang them in this fashion and then some skirts over here I just decided to keep out not because I'm wearing them because they just make me happy and I like seeing them you know and this bag has been here it's the all seen some duster bag I think it's just that's where it lives and I won't move it over here you can see there are so many hangers this is the only place where I have gray hangers and a lot of these were full and you can see that there's just so much that I have taken off, things that have gone in the other closet. I just wanted this to be a very nice, minimal, aesthetic place for me to go. And it's not overwhelming, you know? Over here, this box has a lot of big like cardigans that I do not want to hang. Um, they're all very large, so those stay in there. I don't hang those. And then this is actually where I keep my scrubs for work. I just find this is the easiest place for me to put them. And when I get up in the morning to get dressed, it's just right there. I don't have to pull open any drawers. So I like this spot. Sometimes I actually just throw my sweatpants on here if I'm lazy and there's nothing underneath. It just looks really clean and I like it that way. Now inside this main closet, this is all of Michael's and this is my stuff. So this closet, I decided to make my casual closet so I know exactly what is in here. There are a couple things in here that are dressy that I just choose to keep in here, but not really for dressing up. So here are all of my basic tank tops. I do have a new pair of leggings that is just hanging up because I haven't worn them yet. And I don't know, I just treat my new clothes differently. Am I the only one? Here I have some like off the shoulder tops and casual t-shirts, a sweater that's kind of like a top. These are all of my flannel shirt type things. So very casual again. Here I have two loungewear sets. This is like a fashionable one that I hardly wear, but I'm trying, we'll see. And then this is the Gymshark one. The top is somewhere else. Here are some athletic zip ups and some sweatshirts and then the duster things. Over in this corner, you can see that Things have changed a lot. So up here I just have folded sweatshirts. I only have three of them and they're bulky, so it's better to have them out, I think. These are jegging type things. These are my jeans and these are sweatpants, like chunky sweatpants that don't go in drawers. These are some dressy tops that I don't want to hang. That's why it's in this box from Ikea. They're those type of tops that have cutouts in the shoulders, so it's just awkward and they're a turtleneck. So I keep that in there. This is my box of socks that need to be matched. And under there are still shoes. And this random thing that I haven't moved. So this is my workout box. It's a little bit different. I moved the pants up to here, sports bras and capris because I'm not using those since it's cold. Hey there. 
Now you can see all the hangers. These aren't all my hangers. Michael also uses these hangers, so they're not just mine. But you can see that there are so many. We didn't have this many, and it just shows you how much I've gotten rid of. All these drawers are pretty much the same. These are socks, underwear, and bras. This is more sweat type stuff. These are all my t-shirts. I used to keep tank tops in here, but this is just now all t-shirts, so very casual. This is my pajama drawer. Again, t-shirts, pants, shorts, and this is my workout gear. I haven't pared it down just because it's not that season. I'm just not into it. So that's it for my closet reboot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, or found it entertaining or helpful in any way. Just remember that it is hard getting rid of clothes, especially if you have attachments, if you have different seasons. So I take it season by season and this works best for me. So I am excited for when summer comes so I can start getting rid of more clothes. If you're not in the habit of getting rid of things or getting rid of your clothes every single season, it's definitely nice. It's just nice to get realistic with yourself on whether you're wearing a certain piece what you're comfortable in because that is a big thing for me some things i am just not comfortable wearing and it's completely fine that's like your old life just get rid of it and move on i do feel a lot better about the clothes that i have and the system that i have going i know i'm a little spoiled because i do have multiple closets but i do share a closet with someone else so i think it's okay and i think having a garment rack is really nice as long as you keep it stress-free and it makes you happy i think that they work pretty well i just keep staring at it it did take me a while to sift through and get through everything and really curate how i wanted everything to be but my closet has been like this for a couple of weeks now and it's working great i think it's nice to just have things in categories personally that's how I feel, but if you're different, then that's cool too. Now I know what I would want to purchase to fill holes in my closet. Now I can see everything and I know what outfits I can make. That was a big thing for me and I will try new things. So that will be something that I get to experiment with, just new types of clothing that I may not own. And I think that's a fun way to shop is to experiment with items that you may have not tried before, but still being realistic as far as like, will it still go with the rest of my clothes? So the one thing that I'm going to be doing as far as shopping goes is making sure that I buy things that will go with the rest of my wardrobe and that are versatile because I did get rid of a lot of stuff that wasn't and that is one of the biggest things that I have to stop doing. So that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit the thumbs up button. If you did, if you're new, please subscribe, hit that bell, and I hope you're having a magical day. I'll see you in the next video.